Welcome again to another short, I hope, installment of the A-Track Chronicles here. And today I wanted to talk about kind of a follow-up that happened with the, um, kind of bringing up all these A-Tracks and with this particular uh, Panasonic RS806 deck that we had done. What I noticed is that, you know, some of the tapes, most of them sounded pretty good. Some of them sounded like they were running really fast. Like, in particular, rumors sounded like, Alvin and the Chipmunks. I mean, it was just like, I was like, man. And even my wife, who doesn't really tend not to notice that as much, she said, yeah, that's that's really running fast. And so, but most of them sounded okay. And I am I got a pretty good pitch, so I um, normally would notice this. So I set those aside and I thought, well, maybe it's just, you know, quality control is the A-Track plan, summer fast, okay, whatever. So... I went into this deck and I'm looking at the instructions for it and there's nothing in here about speed control. And so I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. I looked at the schematic and um, ultimately on this particular deck, the, the the controller for the motor is, it's DC oriented. So it looks like there's some servo loop on here. So that it, I think it might sense current. It's really hard for me to tell because they don't explain it anywhere. But ultimately there's at least one, if not two little potent trimmer pots buried on a board on the bottom of this unit that control the speed of the motor. So what I said, well, oh, okay, well, maybe some of these are just different and I'm going to have to have a way to adjust it so it doesn't drive me bananas when I'm listening to A-Track. So I had a Bourne's 500 ohm 10 turn heel pot, really nice pot, put it in a box, ran the cables out, smells time, you know, tape, pulling the one out carefully and putting this in with a uh, the, the little indicator that's you know can tell you it, it's a turns counter tells you exactly where you are so fine I'll record that for each one so I put in rumors crank it up okay yeah and I'm, I'm, I'm digging with it you know and I got it perfect I was like okay this sounds great so then I put in the normal tape thinking that they're gonna run slow nope nope they sound perfect and all the ones that I had noted as running fast, I think when I had like some bad company tape that was kind of fast and another one, they all sound great. And so do the ones that I previously said were, I thought, normal. So the upshot is, so far, I'm not seeing that these tapes are significantly different on speed. There may be slight variations, which is maybe why when you have your deck is off, you'll notice some more than others. I, I know that's for, for sure. But ultimately, I don't really don't know if they're that far off from tape to tape. Anyway, the point is, on this particular deck, you the, um, there's a speed control. And this one was pretty far off. Um, there's a speed control. It's a little tiny, um, uh, I don't know, it's a little thin wafer uh, trim pot. that they, they used to make them a lot in Japan back in the 70s, early 80s. It's not accessible. There's no real hole. If you have a tuning tool or a non-metallic screwdriver that will bend, you can kind of snake it in through the side and get in there and tweak it. It's a little bit of a pain, um, but it can be done. There's another pot on the board, which is, I, interestingly enough, not shown on the schematic, which at least shares at least one net with this other trim pot that is shown in the schematic, which looks like that's the speed control. There's another pot there with, with a hole. doesn't say what it is. It's not documented. That could be it. Who knows? It just took a tiny change on that uh, control to get it back into speed. Voltage on the motor is about 4.6, I think. Um, and it only changed like 100 millivolts when I changed the pot setting. So, uh, fingers crossed, that was it. There's, again, I got zero documentation. I'm not going to start analyzing this, figure out which one was which, because there's no schematic. And it's what happened. I noticed this on the uh, the other uh, Akai deck was that there's, when I'm looking at, there's a noise mechanism, which we'll talk about in another t uh, segment. But... Um, there's a track change sensor. Well, that track change sensor, I looked at the schematic, I'm looking at the board, I'm tracking it out, I'm like, wait a minute, this, these don't match. This is not the same circuit. So clearly they had problems with it. Engineers changed it, never made it back into this documentation. Same thing with this one. Um, you get a generic, you know, Rev E uh, owner's manual and God knows if it matches. So, so be careful about that. It's not necessarily gospel, you have to check. And you may have to do a little bit of reverse engineering, but uh, and again, there's no procedures on this one how to adjust the speed. But I just told you, I would imagine that they're all off because this one was off. And they're just going to drift over time. 
and that's the way it goes. So, uh, good news is so far I can I can leave this set, and actually this is exactly mid rail or mid. Uh, it's five point two, and that's almost in the middle, right where the Japanese designers wanted <laughs> wanted to put it. And the pot that was in there was cranked significantly off center. So I'm not sure it tells us anything. Unless maybe it's wrong from the factory. Who knows? But uh, it's back. And I will follow up later if I see that this didn't work or I have to chase the speeds down. But interesting thing. So, and, well, and then some of these units are driven from a synchronous motor off the line. There's ways around that, which I'll talk about. I actually tried that first and then, then went and looked at the schematic and realized it was DC. So I'm like, well, that didn't work. But um, anyway, we'll talk about speed control a little bit on the Akai deck and how to fix that if for, if for some unknown reason yours would be off. But, and that's it, all things speed control.